Oh, we're live. Hey. Hey. Is it? Hey. Yeah, I have to I have to quit the app and open it again. Guys, we had some struggle. I'm sorry that it looks like there were some of you already waiting. Okay. Let's see, we're just checking to see if we're actually live. Hold on, not here. It still says this live event will begin in a few moments. Yeah, magic mail time. It says we're here. I don't see it. You're definitely live. But are we live? Hold on. Two people. Two people. We, oh, Let 42 people. Okay. Uh, recording date today. Allow you. Ah! Okay. Okay, hang on. Wait. Can't see you guys yet if we're there. Save changes. It looks like it's you're definitely okay. live because, like, okay, people think, are going yes, nuts. I think it's live. Okay, let can me you guys see. hear Dan? If you can hear Dan, go hi, Dan. Hi. Hi. Hi, Dan. We can't okay. tell that we're live yet, guys. I think we're so, live. Hold on. I see some <laughs> comments here. Do you? Yeah. Here we oh, go. Oh, somebody said hi, Dan. That hi. means they can see us. Yay. Yay. Okay, here we go. So that's open. Let me try to open. Dan, would you be able to tilt it up a bit more because I see a lot of table? Yeah. Oh, Kawhi is here. Hello, Kawhi. Nice to see you again. You have the floating. And Dan just kicked the Dan light. Just kicked the light. That's... Don't worry, guys. We're going to be professional real soon. Real yeah. soon, guys. We tried to go live, <clears throat> and then the link wouldn't go live, and so we had to like quit our phone and quit the apps and like, quit everything. So you guys might have been waiting. I'm very sorry I'm trying to put that. this on Facebook as well, so people on Facebook know. What we're trying to do is open up the actual chat room right now so we can see it. Open the chat room because we can't do it on our phones. Close that. Okay. Hold on. It's okay. almost happening. It's almost here. Uh, hold on. You know what we should do for every live event? We should have someone that just like dances at the beginning like when you go to a concert and you see like the opening band you don't really care about them. So we should like have someone just like be here dancing for us and then okay. when it finally goes live we can enter. And I think we got it all. Hello everyone. Okay. Okay. Cool. So William Chen is here. Oh, Hannah Hong said, see your, let me see your amazing hair, Martina. You mean this old thing? <laughs> Look, it's like a million braids up in here. Uh-huh. All right. Okay. Okay, bye, Dan. See you later. Bye, Dan. Um, Let me see how this looks very... You guys ever have one of those days where everything goes totally wrong? Yeah, today is one of those days in which everything's going totally wrong. <laughs> totally wrong. Like, no matter how hard you try, like, you miss the subway, and then this is closed, and then that train stops, and then there's no parking for your bike, <laughs> and then the computer doesn't work, and then so there's a file. Jacob S. and Megan Jerlin and Kate Reeve. I need you and... to make that really big for my old woman eyes, because it's like microscript right now. There we go. Can you re read those? Oh, Kawaii. Okay. Hello, Kawaii. Yes. Good to see you again. Uh, we have got... Isabel Tasker. Jeremy Backer. We've got so Catherine Wing. Sophia Gatlin. Amy Brown says, I finally caught y'all live. Lulu here. Lulu here says, notice me. Uh -huh. Pick me from Hawaii. What? I will. Wendy Scotty. We Beam me up, Scotty. Claire E. We have Gen Z Ryko. We've got Swifty Soul <coughs> Pink Panda. I can't do that much yelling because I have a cold. Do you have a cold or do you have allergies? Martina thinks I have allergies. I've never had allergies before. I think it's a cold, but my eyes are burning. I and mean, there's always a time to start. Like, aren't I too old to start getting allergies? You have to, like, have allergies from the get-go. You can't be like, oh, yeah, I decided to have allergies. No, I don't think so, because you're in a new country, right? So, like, when we were in Korea and the yellow dust came, that killed us, remember? Like, no, because our... yellow dust is hardcore poison, that's why. Okay. Yellow dust is just, like, poison cloud. We don't have it. Here's just pollen. I'm not allergic to pollen. Maybe you are allergic to ume pollen, because if you guys remember a year ago, yeah. I posted up a picture of, like, cherry blossoms, mm -hmm. and people in the comment section were like, Richard, that's not cherry, it's an ume flower, and now I know that it's ume, uh -huh. And it's amazing because the air smells, to me at least, like cinnamon and sugar. So when you're like on your bike and we pass by a big tree and like you get a whiff of it, you're like, oh my god, cinnamon sugar. And now it's really windy and petals are flying everywhere. Fairy Dancer says she got allergies the older I got. There you go, Simon. So there you go. There you and you go. can get allergies when you're adult. I don't mean like, I'm not, I'm not saying that like you could just like have allergies as an adult, but like I didn't have them as a kid. Mm -hmm. Why would I start getting them now? That doesn't make sense. Because you're bald. <laughs> because I'm dying. Falling I'm apart. old and I'm dying. That's, That's right. why. Yeah. Okay. Ooh, well, I've got a strong zero to yeah. help me through this day so I don't um, suffer too much. We have some packages we wanted to open up again, guys. Um, maybe give you guys some stories about what's been happening in our week and stuff mm. like that. Um, We're going to tell a story about Spudgy and a new joke that we have with Spudgy. We're not going to talk about Spudgy. Martina doesn't want to talk about Spudgy. I'm going to start with the story about Spudgy. All right, you ready? start with the Spudgy story. Okay. Everyone, hold on. All right. Uh, for those of you with children, you might want to uh, have them around. I'm giving you five, 
four. Why did it show up three? Three. I'm gonna say hi two, to a red friend. One. Who says zero. it's two a.m. in Colorado? Okay. Looks like I'm not sleeping. So Spudgy is a short-legged dog, and it's really he's a really tiny little legs. He's a boy dog, and he's a very well-endowed boy <laughs> dog. So instead of four legs, it looks like he has five. He's pretty much just like dragging his dingus on the ground like a horse with his a plow. His pee-pee. It's <laughs> called his pee-pee. Right. <laughs> so he walks around yeah. like when it rains and it's muddy, he's like yeah. all white and it's just basically like five dirty paws right. and an extra pee-pee paw. But then he dragged his junk through something uh, a couple weeks ago and it was like almost like tarsh and it yeah. almost like gum and he has a lot of fur around his junk. Trust so me, of this, course, okay. I have to give him a bath right. and I have to clean his little pee-pee. So then when like we cut the fur around it so that it wouldn't be stuck with gum, for some reason Martina said, Let the pee-pee go! Because Spudgy <laughs> suddenly has no fur Because he used to have fur pee-pee, around right? there and it was warm, but if it's cold outside and you get rid of all of your fur, Spudgy's like, hey, why is my pee-pee so cold now? And then and I then, had to give him a bath and then <clears> afterwards we were blow-drying his tummy yeah. and then Spudgy's like, whoa, why is my pee-pee warm? Uh, so now all we say now with Spudgy, um, I don't know how that stuck with us. It's one of those things like Ducky that you just say in the sixth whatever. Yeah. Uh, forever. So now with Spudgy, it's like, why am I pee pee wet? Why am I pee pee cold? Why am I pee pee hot? I mean, I don't think he understands what's going on. Right? Um, but Spudgy doesn't understand why his uh, dingus is always going through so much temperature changes. It's called a pee pee. It's called a pee pee. Why am I pee pee wet? I'd I just like to mention that I'm the only girl in the house. There's too many pee pees <laughs> everywhere. So many pee pees everywhere. My neighbor's had his little tiny pee pee mm. blockage. She had a problem with his urinary tract. And he, he almost died he almost a couple died. years ago, yeah. So then Memers was like, why is my pee pee hurt? Yeah. So too many pee pees. Um, um, <coughs> good story, Simon. Thanks for sharing your pee I'm starting off by talking about my dog's dick. Let's open up it's some packages. Pee-pee. All right. Uh, first, I'm going to say hi to Jasmine Foster who uh-huh. said, you can actually outgrow or develop allergies. Oh. And I remember that um, I was supposedly slightly allergic to asparagus. Oh. How random. Anyone yeah. else? Um, and uh, it's never really bothered me, but they said you might have like slight itches or rashes and stuff. Mm. And I had a cat allergy or oh, have yeah. one, mm-hmm. and only some cats bother me and some cats don't. But when right. I was younger, cats like all cats killed me. Yeah, but now with memers, yeah. like I could just rub my face in him, I'm just right. fine. Or maybe my cat allergy is kicking in stronger than before. Let me know if you guys ever had that allergy test where they put mm-hmm. little tiny cuts all over your arms and then they dip in mm-hmm. the little allergies and then you have them on your back and it's awful. Brian Pack wants to know where does Shin Ramen fall on the Coco Curry scale? Shin Ramen is like a... In terms of spiciness? Spiciness. So like Coco Curry has levels of like one to ten yeah. spice. Shin Ramen is probably like a three. Three. Exactly what I was going to say. I'd say probably a three. It's a three. It's not that spicy at all. I find Shin Ramen delicious spicy. I don't uh-huh. find it actually... It doesn't even make me sweat. Yeah. But yeah. for some of my friends, Shin Ramen is like unpleasantly burny. Uh-huh. Um, and Javon... I got some bad news for you by the way. What? Um, I was looking up recently. Um, <clears throat> By the way, Simon just turned to me. <laughs> Burps. <laughs> it smells like coconut curry because that's what we made for lunch. And then I'm he turned sorry. away, <laughs> and now I'm in a <coughs> unescapable cloud of curry. The whole point is that I, because I had a hip injury, I want to know if I could take any inflammatories yes. after my workout. But I know that when you work out, then your muscles release inflammatory so that you can. Uh, develop more yeah. muscle. So if you take Advil after workout, you're losing out on gains. So I thought, hey, spicy food is anti-inflammatory. Yes. Won't that affect my gains? But when I started looking up a spicy food anti-inflammatory, I haven't really found any evidence suggesting that. So for some reason, I believed that for a long time, but that's not actually the case. So I've kind of um, been misleading you about Spicy food being good for anti-inflammatories. Spicy food's supposed to be great for anti-inflammatories. Yeah, I can't find any science also, about it. we didn't say hi to Javon Cabot who said, Anyang Haseo from Iowa. Hello, yes. Javon Cabot. Yeah. Cabot. Yes. Okay. Well, I'd like to also mention um, that a lot of people in the live mm-hmm. chat were saying that they mm-hmm. did get the pokey pokies of the allergies, which mm-hmm. is awful. Mm-hmm. Um, Ali would like to know if we can get a whoop whoop. Would you like to give him a whoop whoop? Whoop whoop. Whoop whoop. whoop, whoop. whoop, whoop. Uh, the Lord Geek says, you're a beast, Simon Pie. I can't lose gains. I did lose gains. I used to be, like, one, right before we moved to Japan, I was really fit in Korea, and then I went six months without working out, and every bit of progress in that six months of not working out, lost. I had to start from scratch. Mm-hmm. Um, Whipless said, ohayo kasaimasu, uh-huh. except it's not the morning for us, so maybe it's the morning mm-hmm. for you. I read it. It was in Japanese, and I read it really fast, even though it went past. Nicely done. <gasps> Japanese is getting better. Uh, Kowai wants to know, do we have a business email? 
Uh, if you click on our About Us page mm -hmm. on the Simon and like on our main channel, then on the About Us page you'll see like the business emails, and that's the one that you click on, and that goes through like businessy kind of stuff. Yes. There you go. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Emu says, "Glad you guys are streaming uh, later, so you can, can catch it." We usually stream at around this time. Uh, sometimes we stream mm -hmm. at like four, and then it's yeah. a big difference. Anyone from the UK in the house, um, mm -hmm. say hi. Emu is also from the UK, mm -hmm. as is Kawaii, so you yeah. can say hello to them. Uh huh. And oh, uh, Jen yes. Lazaruk says aloha from Hawaii again. Did you guys watch anime? Do we watch anime? If yeah. so, what's your favorite? Um, Nichi Jo, Nichi, Nichi, Nichi Ju. Ju is a great one to start. There's actually a package here that's from Hawaii. Oh, so stick around. And I'm wearing a shirt from Hawaii. Oh, yeah. There Whoa, you go. Kimberly says it's 4 a.m. in Ohio. <laughs> that's pretty. That's pretty. You are awake. Why? Okay, uh, I'm gonna open up the first one here. Go for it. This is a very short. Well, we one. didn't answer the question about our anime. What's oh, your favorite? Oh, okay. I mean, uh, we're waiting for One Punch Man Part Two to come out. Uh, so we love One Punch Man. Probably. We've been watching Samurai Champloo still. We go through it very slowly, like one episode a month, and then we're like, yeah, okay, let's think about it. For I a mean, I watch so much anime, so it's really hard for me to like remember. You know, when someone asks you on the spot, and then you just cannot remember. <laughs> mm -hmm. You're just like, oh, sitting there. Like I watched um, all of Vampire Hunter D, and mm -hmm. um, what's guys help me here. What's the one about the girl who go zero is a vampire and the girl goes to the academy and she's mm -hmm. human and then there's the guy who's a vampire who likes her and then zero likes her but they grew up together and I've seen the entire thing and I cannot seem to remember vampire X vampire what guys help vampire me Vampire Hunter D no Vampire Hunter D is a totally different one it's also a book okay Vampire we... Night thank you Mooney Vampire Night Vampire Night yes I'm thinking Vampire Night this... I love Vamp Vampire Night the music this was so good for it this package is from Sparge. Sparge is... This is Sandra from Sweden. 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 Yeah. She says, here's some candies for you. I'm not sure if the red and blue counts like Swedish candies, yeah. but whatever. I thought it looked cute. Many, many, many hugs. This has a taste of chocolate, butter toffee, vanilla, <coughs> and a rock. Like a rock Obama? I don't know. I'm not sure. What is what is a rock? Try it out. Okay. Try it out. You, when I was younger and I always, whenever I had a cold, my parents would get me candy. And then I told Martina, when I have a cold, I want candy. And she's like, no. So. Um, <laughs> what do you guys eat when you're sick? Because my parents would be like, fluids, chicken broth, here's a cracker. Like, they totally went the opposite. Does it taste like all three at once? Well, it's weird because it tastes like gum in the middle. Mm -hmm. Does it? But it's just like really sweet toffee. Yeah. Confusing. Mmm. Mmm. That's great. Mmm. Not totally my style. Mmm. Rory said, mm. if I send you a letter, would you reply by letter? <clears throat> Absolutely not. Absolutely not. I don't think not. I know how to use a pen anymore. No. Seriously. Do I own a pen? <laughs> whenever we have to like write something for like immigration or whatnot, if I hold a pen for more than like a couple minutes, my hand starts cramping and forming into a claw. And I'm like, what are these utensils? We answer emails as much as we can. So we answer a whole bunch of emails. Okay, we're gonna lady and That's tramp. That's the best we could do. Let's see if we can lady and tramp. But this writing up. something with our hands, it'll just, it'll, I'll crush the pen. Okay, Ooh. you hold that side, I'll hold this side. Okay. We're gonna do like a lady and the tramp. See, okay, ready? Yeah. Set, go. Oh. This is quite hard to chew, actually. Mm -hmm. This is a bad idea. You come to me, girl. You come to me. Mm -hmm. You come to me. Mm -hmm. Come on over here. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Yay, we did it! Mm -hmm. we did it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is a lot harder to chew than I expected. Mm -hmm. You know like how European candy is different than North American? It's different than stuff so from Australia and New Zealand. So mm -hmm. in my head, this tasted like mm -hmm. red licorice, the kind that's like super soft, but it tastes mm -hmm. more like strawberry and mm -hmm. it tastes more like a dense jelly. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Amber Kim uh, says, Simon Martin, what happened to Eat Your Sushi? We miss it. I miss doing Eat Your Sushi as well. That yeah. was really fun. But um, one of the main reasons we stopped doing Eat Your Sushi is because we need four days in Tokyo per week in order to do it. Mm -hmm. But now we're starting to travel to so many places. Like we went to Ekime, we went to Fukuoka, mm -hmm. and we're starting to, we're trying to show you more outside of Tokyo rather than just in Tokyo. If you guys remember when we first moved to Korea mm -hmm. and we were doing videos inside of the Ikimchi studio, it got to the point where it was kind of so comfortable that we didn't have to leave the studio. Mm -hmm. And then I think in our last year we said, no, let's explore mm -hmm. Korea and try mm -hmm. to get around it. Mm -hmm. So we're trying to do that from the get go here. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, that does mean things like um, our TLDRs and like WTFs, like mm -hmm. we have to kind of shuffle them around. Mm -hmm. But what I will say is that TLDRs, um, those are the segments where we like talk about things that we've learned mm -hmm. they're gonna come back 
But if you think about it, when mm. we first moved to Korea, we yeah. didn't start TLDRs for a long no, time. No, we needed a, a few years before we felt comfortable and before we could yeah. understand things. Because you know? we can't just arrive in Japan and be like, here's what I think about this. Yeah. We haven't really experienced it yet, right? Mm. So for us, we're mm. just trying to, no, watch, I won't stand up and breathe. Right. Um, so for us, we're just trying to get to know Japan first right. before we share information with you guys. So we have a lot of topics that we're working on and we're compiling information. And once we have enough information that we feel mm -hmm. comfortable with sharing, mm -hmm. then we're going to... Um, spread that. People are saying that the camera is shaking, so we gotta be careful because oh, we're okay. hitting the table, careful, we're yes. like smacking the table. Okay. Um, there are some other questions that are coming up in here. Okay. William Chen says, hi from this poor first week, third year university student, send uh, help please dad. Like, guys, how many of you just started your first semester again? Of university. Oh man. First week, third year, so, and this is March. I'm trying to think of when our breaks were before. I don't even remember. We were I way in there. school. I don't remember. Yeah, exactly. You know, it's almost a 10 year anniversary of being married. Did we you, got married did, 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 two did, 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 did. days after our graduation ceremony. Yeah. Yeah. That's so great. weird. I, know. I can't believe it. It feels uh -huh. like we're still dating, you know? <clears throat> this is a pretty exciting package. Okay. Dear gang, going. my name is Sarah and my fiance's name is Christian. We come from Iceland and we're huge fans. Oh, cool. We keep our spirits high when we're going through tough times. Keep up the good job. Love from Iceland. Let's, let's do this. Oh, cool. Have we ever gotten a package from Iceland? I think we have. Have we? I think we have. I feel like this is a rare, exciting experience. Not to mention you started with like some of my favorite things ever. Lee Hing Strawberry Sour Belts. Yes. This sounds like it's going to be painful. Oh my god! The 13 Yule Loss of Ice Iceland. Is this like a Icelandian story? That looks like a Christmas book. Can you Was open this a it Christmas up? package? We're going to... Uh oh. I don't uh -oh. think so. It doesn't say Christmas packages. Okay, here. Let's have some of the strawberry stuff. Oh my gosh. Icelandic coffee. That sounds okay. amazing. A bite for you, a bite for me. Okay. Oh yeah. No, I was expecting that to be terrible. Yeah. Nope. Mm, wow. I love these. Mm. Oh my god. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Jesse Cook says, Do you guys mm. remember me and my fiance Jardine from Bakuari last month? I met eating there. Mm. I remember meeting you guys there. Mm -hmm. It's been awesome because we've had a chance to actually when we go to Bakuari. Mm -hmm. We can't assume that every foreigner knows us, but right. sometimes we'll see people there and then they'll come over and be like, Hi Ellie, we took your recommendation to eat here. And it's exciting. It's like we have a little miniature meetup mm -hmm. in the pub, you know? Mm -hmm. <laughs> we have Riss, Got, Got, Got. What do you think it is? It's three Gots. If you add four more, it'd be Got Seven. It's like the ah, 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 ah. What does Got mean? I think Got means good. This looks like corn, mm. corn pops inside a chocolate bar. Can I just tell you I should have eaten before eating all this stuff? You should have eaten. Mm -hmm. This is our dinner. That was a corn pop. That exactly was. Riz Mm-hmm. Mm. Riz buff. Riz buff. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Riz buff. Um, we have a Choco Cat says, oh, hey, hold on. Okay, here we go, guys. This is alcohol. Original Icelandic spirits. I'm really scared. This should is my we, kind of party. You guys think we should try it now? Yeah, we should. Okay. The kind, look. I need something to burn out the pain and the disease in me right mm -hmm. now. Mm -hmm. I'm down to drink some alcohol. This is 37.5% alcohol. You open one, I open one. This power we can't drink this. the whole thing. Of course we can. What if it's terrifying? Girl! We should play a game and the loser has to take a sip of it. No, 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 no. Look, we're a loving couple. We need to do this together. I love TV you. TV flag address said chug. What the I heck? I love you. You love me. We're, We're a, a happy, happy family with a great big hug. Listen, Vina, Vina says one shot. Look, everyone's saying shot, shot, shot. Oh, shot, man. shot, shot. We gotta do this. Uh, before we start, the Prince of Darkness 17 said yes. I'm so happy I finally made it. Mm. Hopefully I can send you your Godiva chocolate Ooh. soon. And there's a bonus Godiva coffee. I never knew Godiva made coffee. What? What? I'm not gonna one shot this. Yes, soon. you better, girl. First, I want to taste it. I just want to taste it. No, no, no. You taste it like in a full mouth. You got to taste at the back of your throat, the front of your mouth, all at once. But what if it's terrifying? Look, look do you want to disappoint all these people here? <clears throat> do you want to disappoint Mishy Bunny? Do you want to uh, disappoint Emu? But look Do at, you want to disappoint these look people? Look how cute my shirt is. Pom Pom Perry doesn't drink. Do you want to disappoint Helen Nib? All right, all right, all right. It's not terrible. No, it's not as bad. I, for 37.5% alcohol, it's There is a little bit of, this tastes like vodka and soju had a love baby. Mm -hmm. With a tiny hint of licorice somewhere in there. You know what this would be good with? Have a bite of this and then take a swig of that. 
This is gonna be dope. Mm hmm. Wow. Woo. That did not go as well as I thought. No, that's not a good idea because then it would taste yeah. sugary and then you'd put this down and then it would taste terrible. Well, oh, I totally forgot. Red Ren said Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood is a good anime. Mm. I definitely, Simon's never seen it, but mm. I love Full Metal Alchemist and they're coming out with a live action movie now in Japan and I saw some of the screenshots and it looks totally legit. Mm. It's always scary when someone redoes an anime. Like, have you guys ever seen a live action Sailor Moon TV show? It's so, so bad. bad. So bad. But good. Mm. Definitely. Artie Musachos, wait, Musachos, Must Chaos says, will we ever do Snapchat? Nope. No, I don't <laughs> think so. We have Twitter, yeah. Facebook, Instagram, our website, and YouTube. That's five different things we have to try to be different for. I don't want to keep on recycling. Okay, I hate you guys! <laughs> and there's some people that post one thing and just spread it across everywhere. I kind of want to have different stuff for every different page. So making a whole new thing of content for Snapchat. Turkish Peeper! Yeah, is that even a drink? Do you remember Turkish Peeper? We gotta get Dan to try this. This is. We should have called Dan and given. No, no, no. Get some other. Is Yamachan here? Yamachan. Yeah, Yamachan. No, 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 no. We can't just. Should we? Should we? No, this is thirty-two percent alcohol. Hey, people that send us alcohol. Paper? I like the way you work. I'm just enjoying like little these amazing teas and stuff. Okay. Both of us can't drink this, but we gotta like do Kai Bai Bo, and then Lucy has to take a sip. Don't you remember what Turkish paper tastes like? I do, but this is with alcohol. Yeah, exactly. Helen's like, you're gonna hate it. Turkish paper is like mm -hmm. liquid uh, licorice, black liquid. licorice, yeah. put in alcohol form. This is a spicy one. Uh, oh no, girl, we gotta do this. Mm, Rock, paper, scissors. This is gonna require more of a battle, guys. What can we do? What oh my god, Amber Kim said Avatar is the worst action movie ever. Okay, I mean, we're, Avatar we're gonna do the like, chicken battle. What's the chicken battle? You gotta hop on one foot and knock the other person over. What? <laughs> we hold up our legs like this. But I'm wearing a skirt. And hop on one foot. No, I'm gonna hurt you, girl. I don't wanna hurt you. I love you too much. Thank you. No, you lost pray. my legs up. Okay. But we gotta like jump at each other, and the first person to put their foot down loses. <laughs> so, like that. Are you, are you actually trying, girl? Then maybe hug your boobs in front of everyone. <laughs> 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 so, because the phone fell over, it looks like you guys lost, and you have to take the first shot. So here. <laughs> Don't tell me that because I knocked over the live stream, you mean that I lost when that I... Quality entertainment right here. Are you trying to grip it on something else so it doesn't fall over again? Let me see if I can... Hello, everybody. I'm going to see if Welcome I can make this less shaky. Science corner. For special times, make it hot and sweet premium shot times. Mm. <laughs> mm -mm. Drink it! Mm -mm. It's a Bush mm. X song. Swallow! Mm. No. Oh! Swallow. Dan! Mm -mm. You want Dan to try? Where's Dan? Get down. Dan, come here. We're gonna text message Jane from yeah. next door. Where's Dan? I, how do you message Dan? You use Line? Yeah, I use Line. You use Line. Simon's gonna message Dan and see if he wants to try. He's not gonna trust us because for all hey, we know he could be Simon. Sometimes here. Dan watches our live streams with headphones on, so he could be like, uh uh, when he comes in here. Oh my gosh. Why did autocorrect bitch ass for me? I don't know. Alex Beautiful has a question. Simon, are you gonna play Resident Evil 7? No, I saw some of it. It looks terrifying. You, have you, have you ever tried it? Have you guys ever played Resident Evil? No, um, remember we saw it with the with the parking lot thing with the guy oh, trying to get in this car. Yeah. We watched that's Donkey scary. play it. Yeah, that's scary a terrible game. Are scary. Mm. We we play enough games that are basic that yeah. are scary to mm. us. Never mind those ones. I'm actually starting to play Witcher Three again mm. on the on on my computer now because mm -hmm. I built a PC. Literally, I have no load screens anymore. Oh, really? Because it's so when, fast. When I, when I fast travel, it's just I can't even read because usually when you fast travel from like map point to map point. It like has like a few tips that show up. Mm -hmm. I can't even read the first tip before it gets to the next point. Uh, Cameron said Resident Evil 4 <laughs> is the best and someone else said mm -hmm. um, Horizon Zero. Is that also a scary one? I'm just going to call Dan. I think he's trying to ignore me. Dan, Dan if you're watching this. Dan's not going to want to drink this. He's going to definitely... Where's your phone function? How do you call people on your phone? I got rid of the phone function because who calls people anymore? Who calls anymore? people anymore? The call function's like, <clears throat> Simon just burped again and the whole room smells <laughs> like... Turkish paper! Coconut... Eggplant curry. I'm just calling Dan. Hello, Dan. This is your mother. I'm next door and I need you to drink.
Fruit from medicine. <laughs> um, Todd, uh, no. X Peak Punisher wants to know if we're playing on 4K. I am playing on 4K. I have a 4K monitor. It's great. <clears throat> um, Sarah and Christian, <clears throat> thank you so much for the super fun package. Don't you ignore me. We'll see. Dan is definitely in the phone. live chat. No, he's definitely Dan, watching this. Dan, if you're this. watching this, pick up your freaking phone. Dan? <laughs> Dan, pick up your phone. <laughs> Dan, pick up your phone. So some of you guys wanted to know um, who Dan was. I remember um, Dan works Dan, with us at I'm just going to bring him over here. <laughs> You start talking to people. <laughs> this is like a... Oh yeah, no, he's not picking up his phone. He's on to you, Simon. Simon's now going next door um, in the office and he's going to drag Dan here. And I have to tell you, I don't think Dan is going to want to take part of uh, drinking of this Turkish paper, but we'll see. Okay, guys, quickly. Ask him questions while Simon's gone. He'll never know. What secret things can I do? Can I pour... Oh! I'm going to put it into Simon's strong zero. This is his strong zero. Uh oh, it's obvious. <laughs> Simon will never know. Oh, he's coming back. I can hear him. Actually, nothing happened. Uh, da -da -da. Yeah. Nothing happened. Nothing. So the reason why he wasn't answering his phone is because he had headphones on him and he was actually doing work. Okay, we got a package from Iceland. We got a package from Iceland. And we got. Of all this amazing Icelandic booze uh -huh. that we've been drinking. But we want and you to try. Everybody wants Dan to come over here. Everybody, and look, you have to do this for the audience. This is hot and sweet 32% alcohol premium. It's shot. like spicy. Spicy. This one? Yes. yes. That's the one. Hot and sweet premium shot. Yep. What, what's the flavor? Turkish it's, peeper. It's difficult to explain, but it's Icelandic. It's kind of like chai. It has an actual spicy <clears> kick to it. And like the whole point shit. is that people here want you to try it. Destroyed everything. I'm just yeah, uh, I'm just ruined everything. All right, Sorry. Dan, grab yeah. a seat. Everyone's like, so, show your so, face, Dan. So Dan, Sorry, yeah. Dan, Dan, Dan's sitting, <laughs> and yeah. there we go. Yeah. <laughs> and there's the sign there falling. Go. I look so tiny. He's behind us on the couch. <laughs> okay, so I mean, you take your strong zero. <laughs> you take your strong, strong zero. zero. I'll take this. We're all mm -hmm. gonna cheers each other. Cheers. Um, what, is this the worst one? This is the worst one, isn't it? I'm trying to, I missed the set. There you go. Cheers. cheers. Everybody. Wasn't that delightful, Dan? <laughs> oh, it's, oh, it's licorice. It's it? licorice. Did you drink any of your drink, Simon? I did. Oh. Awful. Okay. Oh. I poured some into your drink. Oh. I should not even taste it. You didn't taste it? No. no. It's actually not bad. Oh no. Well, Dan likes it. I mean, it's worse. Well, guess what, oh, big boy? That's no. all for you from Iceland. Oh no. Mm. I mean, you should get some of the Yamachan. Alright, I'll get that. Yeah. You didn't you even just notice. spread it around the office and let them all try I it out. I didn't pour enough and I should have okay. poured more in. There you go. Well, that was awesome. Mm -hmm. Cheers for, right. from Iceland then. Okay. Yes. Uh, um, would you like some candy on your way out? This is delicious candy, actually. We're not actually mm. making that up. It's strawberry delicious candy. And you should. This isn't. You sure it's not licorice? Because normally. No, that's not licorice. Like, this no. is delicious. No, that's, that's actually delicious. So now we just tell them things like this is not delicious. Oh, Adriana Guadron says, Dan, I love your podcast. Oh, thank you for listening. You want to tell people about your podcast? Uh huh. Um. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Every month I'll be doing podcast thirty minute mix. So um, come and join me on SoundCloud and. Slowly getting used to speaking because you can see I'm not very What's your name on SoundCloud? Oh, Panda. T A N D A. Like a panda. Mm -hmm. it's like a panda with a T. Mm -hmm. And when you listen to Dan in his podcast, he uses his sexy British voice, not his regular, like, oi kind of voice. He's like, hello, it's Dan Tanda. <laughs> is it, is it <laughs> I am them? Spanish all of a sudden. <laughs> but he uses his uh, broadcasting voice. So. Dan DJs, and so he makes like a DJ mix of different songs that he likes. So mm. it's quite nice. Yeah, that's my story. Oh, thanks so much. This In, is alright. I your, like this. Well, you really? mm, and, you're, and you're crazy, <laughs> crazy. Everyone's like, he's into it. I'm like, all right. Right. You can go. You can go take that, young man. Okay. Give you these back. These are okay, but I'm gonna this. All right. What? All right. Say bye, See you later. Later. Crazy. Well, that wasn't as fun as I expected it to be. I wanted to see <laughs> suffering and crying. And I poured it into Simon's drink and he didn't suffer either. None of us suffered but us. Zach Wood says, go Dan. Yes, go Dan. Go away, Dan. Simon's angry that <clears throat> I'm angry. His prank didn't work. Okay. 
Sorry about that. Well, that was a really lovely package from Iceland. Thank you very much. Did, you, did you get anything from it? Everything from the package. Okay, cool. Yeah. I'm going to open a package here then. Okay, I'm going to say hi to Eileen, <clears throat> who says hello from Melbourne, Australia. Oh, oh my God, I didn't miss the live stream. Yay. Thank you for super chatting again, Eileen. Any Aileen. other Australians in the house, you can say hello to Eileen. Wait, Eileen? Eileen? How do you pronounce it? Because it's E I L E E N. Where Aileen? the one o'clock is right this here. from? No. Hilo H I Hawaii. H I Hawaii. Look, I thought right here. H A was Hawaii. Hawaii. Ivy is from Melbourne. Ooh. We've got Annie Mee from. We got. There's oh, we got Mickey. lots of Aussies in the house. Miss C says Aussie, 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 and I'm gonna go. Oh, 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 boy. Rory is Australian. We got a Western Australian here. We got Sydney. Ducky. We've got Melbourne as well. We got choco pies. Choco pies. We are from Korea, living in Japan, and then we got. Someone from Hawaii sending, sending us, us choco, choco pies. pies, which my students lived on. I but want you to read these this. Aren't, these aren't read this in your sexiest <clears throat> voice. Ready, go. Fill your mouth with the pleasure of rich chocolate flavor every day, big That's boy. Very sexual. Yes. Hi, Simon, Martina, and Dan. In this box of goodies, we packed some stuff. That's Ooh. our favorite snacks to eat from the islands. I hope you enjoy it. Love it. Oh, shit, Sally and Sharice. That's an Sharice. R or an N. R. Sherry. Not only can we not handwrite, we can't read handwriting anymore. This is the Upcountry Morning Blend. We got some coffee here. Coffee All was right. this Oh, no, this is what makes me the happiest Aileen right here. Sue. Okay, got it. If I said it right. <laughs> right? Pronunciation? This Aileen one is for Sue. Dan. I package for himself. Love you, Dan. Well, Dan. <laughs> Now don't be oh, fine, fine. I'll okay. save it for Dan. This one is don't for sad your prank. This didn't one work. is for Simon and Martina. I love these macadamia chocolates. Read this so I'm, I'm gonna Um I'm we gonna actually we there. have a funny story about you guys about this uh, uh this particular type of macadamia nut covered chocolate. Mm. When we were in was it Taiwan or was it Beijing? I think it was Beijing. Mm -hmm. We were coming back to Korea and our flight got grounded because of like a really bad typhoon mm -hmm. Except all of us had already boarded the plane and it was like the last flight out of the airport So when we arrived at the airport mm -hmm. everything was closed mm -hmm. um, So we thought that we'd have food, but everything was closed. So we mm -hmm. went shoot. We got on the plane We said it's okay. We're gonna have food on the flight back mm -hmm. Grounded for hours. There was mm -hmm. nothing to do. They mm -hmm. couldn't serve any of us food mm -hmm. So Simon and I had to go through the in airplane magazine that you buy things from, which mm. I've never bought. Does anyone, you guys buy from Who that? Who buys stuff from the airplane? I mean, maybe they do, but they were, so we're like desperate for food. And all we saw that was healthy was chocolate covered macadamia nuts. Mm. And so we bought that and ate that like a bunch of weird mm. bonbon eaters. Um, William Chen wants to know, are we excited about RuPaul's Drag Race season nine? A world and are we uh, enjoying it? And are we excited about the upcoming season? Okay, nobody spoil anything. We're only on season eight. Yes. I'm trying to move We're slowly through it. We're two episodes in. I love kimchi. Kimchi is my favorite queen of all time. Yes. Kimchi is just, I love kimchi. She's amazing. She's amazing. Yes. Absolutely. So don't say anything because I'll be dust That's all. so straight. <clears throat> um, this is Hawaiian coffee. Mm. Oh yeah. Mm. Thank you very much. And what are these? Those are... Oh, mango! These are really good mango candies. I remember mm -hmm. these. And these right here are little crackers. Mm -hmm. I'm going to try some of these crackers. I'm going to say hello to Aaron Grosh, who says, first live stream. Welcome. Genuinely appreciate you guys. And make sure Dan knows I love his jam compilations. Oh. Uh, i from Ohio. Dan is a very talented guy. Oh, He's yeah. He's shy. These are nice. These are the Sakura Ooh. No chips. Mm. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and take these. Mm. So we've been trying to um, encourage him to like, you know. Oh, Rim Borda says Kim and Naomi were in Korea. Um, I didn't really like Naomi that much. No, Kim and Naomi where or were? Are, are in, they're in Korea or they oh. were in Korea? Okay. So Naomi is mm. not really necessarily my favorite. Maybe Naomi will develop in the rest of the episode, but in the first two, just bam bam. It's kind of like when we bam bam. It's kind of like bam, bam. Bam, bam. <laughs> um what's her name? Uh oh, I can't remember her name. Ooh, right now. Pearl? Not Pearl. Because well, Pearl really sucked throughout the entire And then she kind of changed as well. So we don't say anything else because it might spoil for people because then they know that they're yeah. remain to a certain level. Mm. Vegas Nikki says love from Vegas. Mm -hmm. <coughs> I like how your name <laughs> includes where you're from. <coughs> Are you okay there? I'm dying. You wanna drink something? <coughs> <coughs> I told you I'm dying. Take care of me. You just have allergies. You're doing okay. It's not allergies. It's a cold. I got the black one pop. You're all right. Uh, thank you very much for this amazing package. Mm. Um, we will definitely share the chocolate pies with Dan, mm. even though he might be distrustful of us. We're going to mm. open it up and fill it with like <laughs> something terrifying. Um, Keely Mayhew wants to know what books are we reading? Mm. Oh, I am currently mm. reading 
the Sookie Stack House Vampire series, which uh -huh. I've already read. Yeah. But I'm reading, reading it again it. Uh -huh. because it's nice and comfortable to read when you when your mind is like mm -hmm. sometimes you're just like exhausted and tired and you don't want to do anything serious. Mm -hmm. I already spent five or six years in university reading mm -hmm. serious books. Yeah. And so reading Sookie Stack House makes me happy. Uh, I'm reading I, a terrifying I'm book. reading The Omnivore's Dilemma. And for those of you that are eating in America, or that are living in America, how do you eat food without dying? Like, I'm just reading this book and... It's really scary, Bob. Like, I, I kind of understand veganism now through mm. the perspective of Americans because the way that food is treated there is mm -hmm. just terrifying. Like, mm. the chemicals that they use, what they do to the cows and the chickens, it's just... Like, the, those standards aren't done in Japan. They treat their livestock significantly better here. But holy shit, America, what you're doing to your meat is nuts. Mm. Just nuts. And mm. this isn't a book just about meat. It's about, like, food and supermarkets and whatnot. But whoa. One of the things I was going to say. And terrifying. I, I firmly believe mm. this. I think the size of your country mm -hmm. changes the type of food that's being raised. Because sure. Japan and Korea have a small amount of land. So, for example, you mm. can't have an entire area filled with corn, right? Mm -hmm. But in America and Canada... Of course you can. No, but I mean, the amount that America has, America is so huge... No, 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 no. They can make gigantic butcher houses and stuff, but so like... The reason, why Korea, corn, the reason why corn works so well is because... Oh, no, don't go into your book. No, All I'm saying is... I'm just saying what you're saying is wrong. Wait, 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 I'm saying what you're saying is wrong. Stop I tasted the liquor the so, so right mm -hmm. how, how big is Korea and where does it fit in America? Doesn't I, it fit I, in Texas? Sure. So I'm yeah. just saying that there's more land that you can do things with. And that's why you grow corn, of. because corn is the most compact crop that you could grow, the most calories that you could mm -hmm. grow per square inch. Here we are talking about this. Here we are talking about food. I'm going to say hi to some people. I'm going to yes. say hi to, um, oh, okay, hang on. Okay. Now, now, now Karachi. Karachi. So it's dry now. Dry now. Now, Karachi. Yes. Or is Karakuchi is Karakuchi? Right. Karakuchi. Karakuchi. Okay. Okay. It's from <clears throat> Peru. Yes. They've been studying in Okinawa for a year. Oh. Going back to reality on the 31st. Uh huh. Um, and so they said it's a nice way to spend money because they didn't know Super Chat existed. Welcome to all you lovely Super Chatters. It's a new feature. So it's we a didn't, new feature. We didn't even know it existed until it started. And we're yeah. like, what's this thing popping up? Uh -huh. um, but it, it allows that, it allows um, Super Chats allow people's comments to appear because uh -huh. you guys' comments are going past quite quickly. Uh -huh. So it's pretty hard to catch and then the super chat means that we can actually see your comments mm. and stays on the screen uh um, fairy dancer says corn is awful for you so is modern wheat mm -hmm. i actually kind of think that the way that wheat is grown in america as well or the way that breads are made in america mm -hmm. that's why people have gluten allergies because it's so the bread is so unnaturally made that like your body is not reacting to wheat well but if you grew up eating bread on the other side of the world i don't mm -hmm. think there'd be that many people that have gluten allergies well not just other side of the world <clears throat> we mean bread that's been made naturally rather than like a yeah, processed way. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah. I'm going to say hi to Meow Mimi Me, Me, Meow. Yes. Who said, very excited to see a live chat finally and uh -huh. that we helped you through anxiety. Uh -huh. Thank you so much. And by the way, Martina, I love True Blood. Thank you. Thank you. The the books, not the show, because the show kind of took a nosedive after season two. The show made no sense. However, it's nice to see those people because mm -hmm. they made amazing <clears throat> casting calls. And mm -hmm. Eric Northman, oh my God. Oh. I'm just saying. Hello, tiny humans. Yeah. I like that part. Yes, exactly. <clears throat> I like that a lot. Uh, random pro says, Simon, have I ever played Dying Light? No, I've heard about it, but I haven't mm -hmm. played it yet. Usually when I when I get games, I play them for a long time, so I can't jump from game to game to game that much. Um, so also, hello uh, from uh, Oklahoma. Hello there. Anyone else from Oklahoma? And I like how <clears> on <throat> the other side, uh, Keely Mayhem said, Alexander Skarsgård. I agree. Stephanie Vasquez says, books are great. They are. You know what I liked about Martina? In the morning, she woke up and she started reading more Sookie Stackhouse. And like when she went to sleep, she was reading Sookie Stackhouse. And she has her big, like she wears contact now, but like at home, she has like these big librarian glasses. And I love my little bookworm right here. It's and, such a little... And at nighttime before I went to bed, I wound <clears throat> by watching Star Trek. Yeah. Next Generation. Nicely done. Uh -huh. <clears throat> Ooh. Mm -hmm. These are piatos. Um, I think <clears throat> that on the other side there is a letter, but right now we cannot get there. Ooh. Um, sour cream and onion haven't had this in a Cheese while. Cheese chips. I'm going to say hello to Hannah Clark, mm -hmm. who said hey from Hannah and the one-year-old Loki from Leeds in Ooh. the UK. And he always has a smile on the face when we are on. Oh! Uh, naming your kid Loki. Let's just go ahead and do thumbs up all around. Loki's okay. Loki's amazing. Loki's I'm okay. like super team Loki. Well, you know what I'm excited about? Mm. At the end of Doctor Strange, they showed the upcoming. They showed some teasers for the Ragnarok movie. Mm -hmm. I'm excited about that. Um, guys, have you ever tried sour cream and onion chips? 
There are some things that are like in Canada that we had that other people in America didn't, or America and vice versa. I love sour cream and oh, onion, but it makes your mouth so smelly. These are made from the Philippines. Mm. <clears throat> this is great. Oh, is this package from the Philippines? Maybe. I believe mm. there must be a letter somewhere down here. <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> I'm gonna just dump this across and we can slide this down here. Aileen wants to know what's our favorite memory from our childhood? Favorite memory from childhood. It's a, it's a... My favorite memory from childhood? I'm not sure if I can think of, <clears throat> I'm not sure if I can think of one because I don't think of my childhood all too much. What's my favorite memory from childhood? Favorite memory, that's so specific. When you guys watch Harry Potter, did you ever think about what your Patronus, like, you know, when your Patronus, you have <clears> a really warm, <throat> like, super strong memory? Okay, let me think. I really like going through this childhood. when I was really young, when I was going to the supermarket with my parents, and I was really small, and mm -hmm. they would, like, grab me by the hands, and they would swing me through the parking lot. Ah, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. And my shoulder's I, dislocated. I really like that one. <laughs> I have a lot of good memories from childhood. Um, I mm. think one of my favorite ones was I would go to Nova Scotia to visit my granddaddy and Nana, mm -hmm. and my granddaddy and I would go out at nighttime to spray the slugs and the bugs off of his garden. Mm. But he never used pesticides, he just used a little bottle of soapy water. Mm -hmm. So he bought me gigantic rubber boots and a hat, and we had little tiny headlights, like uh, torch headlights on your head. Mm -hmm. And we'd go out in the darkness with our lights on, and our flashlights, and our water bottles with our gloves on, and we'd squirt all the leaves and scrape <clears> off all the slugs, and my mom would be like, what is happening right now? I really want us to have a garden one day. Mm -hmm. Like right now we have just like, a couple plants in the backyard mm -hmm. and pots, but that's not it. But like, we recently watched an episode of Chef's Table France in which just like family had their entirely own huge garden and we want to learn how to do that. Yeah, we'll get there. Mm. Okay, this is from Rachel mm -hmm. and her husband, Edgar, and they are big fans who recently visited the Philippines mm. for a family reunion. Mm. And so they sent us got all, they sent us all these snacks. Um, that's what, that's why this is actually from <clears> the Philippines. <throat> With some Cornic. Edgar says Team Simon, and then at the bottom she wrote Team Martina and Gigantic Writing. So I think Team Martina just wanted here. Has some garlic Cornic. I'm gonna say bye to Lee Kuglin, who mm. said that they have to go to work. They love us in all the videos, and they miss my recipes. I am working on um, a Martina's Minute cooking to make udon, actually. What's that say? Boy wing. Boy wing. <laughs> I'm very easily amused. How was the boy wing? Um, not as good as these chips here. No? What did I say? Boy wing. Um, mm. Nell boy Revere <laughs> says, if I invite you to my 35th birthday party, which is in April, would you come to St. Petersburg, Russia? Um, I don't think so. I'd love to be able to, but I don't think that we could travel out in April. We have some... We have to be in Kyoto for a week. Yeah, we're going to need Kyoto to film <clears throat> um, more videos. Uh -huh. Two different videos in Kyoto again. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. I'd love to actually visit Russia outside of the airport because we were only in the airport and we never actually got outside. Mm -hmm. um, so one day we might be able to go to Russia, but I don't think that we could make it for April because that's a very short notice. We have to go back to both Russia and England because we've never been outside of the British airport. So we mm. arrive in England and we're like, here we are in England and we've just never set foot on, well, I've never set foot on British soil outside of the airport. We were supposed to, we, were, we just planned our anniversary because it's our 10 year anniversary coming up. Ooh, so mm. many excited things to eat here. Uh, and we were planning on something in Europe or uh, like either like France or Spain and we decided against it because the flight is gonna be a bit too crazy. So we're gonna be doing something a little bit closer instead. Um, we, we just finished having boy wang, mm -hmm. and I'm gonna have some ding dong next. Mm. Philippines, you got some great snack names. Why don't you cross your boy wang with the ding dong? Maybe I could put a little, little bit of boy wang in my mouth and a little bit of ding dong. <laughs> put all the wangs all and the ding, ding dongs, dongs in your mouth, ding girl. In my mouth. <clears throat> Keith Tan says, Hi, Sam Martin. I've been following you since like 2011. That's a long time. Both of you meant a lot to my well being. And your vids have always been a positive light in my day. Love you both. Many hugs. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you for watching us for so long and not getting bored. Our style has definitely changed tremendously uh, from now to then because when I look back in our old videos, they're kind of really, really lame. It's interesting because I think some of you guys might um, have started watching our videos at a certain point. Mm -hmm. And so it's like you might see a certain point and be like, oh, I want videos like this or I want it to change. Or someone might watch from the, the very beginning and say, wow, you guys have grown so much. So it depends on when people start watching our videos, they have like a different perspective. Mm. And some of you guys have seen us go through like 
complete changes. Like when we first went to Korea, we hated odang, like the fish cakes mm. that were from the dokbuki stands. Mm. Now I totally love them. But we already made the announcement that we hated it. Mm. And then two years later, we're like, I love it. So it's almost like <clears throat> watching us change and grow as people, right? I want to say hello to Seacross04, who says, good morning. It's 4.40 a.m. Why are you still awake? But this is the first time you've ever been able to catch a live stream. So hello. Do you want me to open that? Yeah. Oh, we got a great comment here. Right. Fairy Dancer said the first video they watched was the Mountain Dew Cheetos. And then later on we made oh, Eric yeah. eat them. Um, Eric <clears throat> Nam, we made him eat them and he, he hated them terribly. It was hilarious. Cool. Mm -hmm. Chocolate vapor sticks. Claire's Creation said that they've watched from the very first video. Why? Wow. Those are so bad. Don't bad, watch the old ones. Bad old videos. Um, oh. Lulu here says, how many YouTube channels do you have? We've got Simon and Martina. Yeah. We've got Simon and Martina bonus. Mm -hmm. Then we've got Open the Happy. Uh -huh. And then we've got Drink Your Drink Potions, your potions mm -hmm. for video games. Mm -hmm. And then we've got a really it, old channel. Eat Your Kimchi Archive. Which is like videos <clears> that never made it to our main channel. And then we have another one called Relaxing Scenery Videos. Where whenever we go We've only we... uploaded like two videos of it. I made two more. I put a bullet we didn't train publish video them yet. and yeah. a hot spring video coming, mm -hmm. guys. Mm -hmm. Yes. A Pigs and Needles says, have you seen Yuri on Ice? It's the greatest. And Simon, have you read anything by Leanne Hearn? I have a book to send you. I haven't even heard of Leanne Hearn. I haven't watched Yuri on Ice yet. I heard it's okay. good. And then some people told me they didn't like the ending, but I haven't seen it yet. So I don't know if I should watch it. So let me guys know if you think I should watch it. I would it. love to have any book recommendations by Leanne Hearn. Send this way. I like to read with book recommendations. Okay. This is a great, this is a really great snack. Mm. Um, package that you sent us. I think we need to eat food with it. Mm. Like I feel like this would be go really well with like a beer or something. With a strong zir that's been tainted by I'm Turkish peepers. Sorry about that. Mm. And I'm really excited to try out this ramen <clears throat> because it looks like it's going to be the kind where you stir fry it with like an egg on top. Mm. Um, Nayo so for thinking about Nayo Karachi, thank you again for super chatting, wants to know how do we keep up with the comments? Um, uh, we it's really difficult because there are so many comments so we we kind of look back and forth between the super chat and, mm -hmm. and the regular chatters the super chat doesn't move so we get <clears throat> yes. a chance to actually see you guys and those stay steady but the rest of the comments on the the regular ones stream by so fast so i'm like just kind of glancing to try to read yeah, which, it as fast as uh -huh. i possibly can so there you go yeah yeah so Des said that martini you're right a lot of snacks are great with beer i think that's mm. probably uh -huh. Definitely the way to drink and eat a lot of these. Right. Mm -hmm. uh, and also for our regular videos, um, we try to like answer as many comments as we can on those. I actually remember for like our last video, like someone said like 2,000 comments in a day and we like answer like a lot of them. And mm -hmm. I think answering comments is one of my favorite mm -hmm. parts of it is. posting a video. How cool is it that we get a chance to interact with you guys? Like mm -hmm. when you watch TV, you mm -hmm. know, you can't yell at the Game of Thrones actors and tell them yeah. something. You know, you can only yell with your friends. Mm -hmm. But with YouTube, it's like we'll put up a video and you guys can directly tell us something or give us advice or like let us know and we can actually just respond to you. And That's so cool, <clears throat> right? I actually know some YouTubers that don't answer their comments. What's they just the point? post their videos and then they walk away. But like, don't you want to talk to the people that are watching your videos? Mm -hmm. Don't you feel exceptionally fortunate that anyone gives a shit? There are millions of YouTube mm -hmm. videos out there, like mm -hmm. a billion hours of content and you're choosing to watch me? That's an honor. I want to talk to you as much as I can. Thank mm -hmm. you for making that decision to hang out with us. No, it's, I mean, it's, you have so many choices in your day <clears throat> and you've made one to actually stay with us. That's mm -hmm. awesome. There you go. Uh, we, we appreciate you guys. I'm going to open up another package. You open another package. I'm going to ask you a question from Ken V. Moon who said, Hello, Simon Martina, Oklahoma Nasty. What, what? Simon, have you tried to play World of Warcraft? I have not tried to play World of Warcraft. I've been kind of avoiding um, MMRPGs, mm -hmm. MMRPGs, because I the only one that I've actually agreed to is Final Fantasy XIV because it's because Final Fantasy. Because you're so Final Fantasy. Whoa, it's and a big And I honor. just don't necessarily want to play video games with other people. I'm a loner uh, when I play oh. video games. I've, I've always been that way. So that's why playing Final Fantasy XV online, um, well, not online, but streaming it and talking to people is a very bizarre experience for me. But probably one of my favorite game experiences ever, I would say. Okay. okay. This is from Sammy. Uh -huh. um, Sammy, I'm going to read your letter later so I can actually read it properly. Oh, shit. Um, this is a little portable wrench packet. What? With a lid that I could go on. This exists? Are you kidding me? I got to say something. Since coming to Japan, the food here is so flavorful and powerful. I don't think I use as much ranch as I used to. You don't, but now you got spicy ranch. But now I got spicy ranch. So what I, for what I cook at home, ranch. for what I cook at home, then that'd be great. But I don't necessarily use it on like delivery. I got myself some scarf. Oh, she knit those scarves. Ho -ho. I've never seen that. Oh, Here's scarf for you. How scarf pretty for is me. this? Oh my gosh, look at uh -huh. these colors. Look at that. 
This is really gorgeous. Hold on. I've got a couple mm. scarves from you guys that I, I rotate through. And this is perfect. Ooh, Ooh. these are bum wipes. Yes. We can take these with us for whenever we like travel overseas that don't have bum sprayers. How does the world exist without bum sprayers? Remember someone told us before that in their culture they have a little thing of water that they scoop out and pour on their butt. Yeah. I think that's also smart. So we have a whole bunch of like tissues here, oh which God, is great. So Thank pretty. you so much. Um, I've never seen this before. We have some Iron Man and Captain America tissues as well, which is totally dope. Have you guys totally ever dope. seen this sparkling jelly beans? <clears throat> I have not. Okay, I'm going to try these out. Sparkling jelly beans. Read the back of it. To help Simon not lose his keys. Uh-huh. But that means I have to like put this on this. Uh, I could do it. You know what? Mm -hmm. I won't lose my keys anymore. Thank you, Field Offerings. I will indeed enjoy our snacks. Let us do that. We did not eat almost all day and then we had mm. a little bit of curry that we made and mm. now this is our um, supper time apparently mm. Mm -hmm. dinner of champions potato chips and jelly beans mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. alex beautiful says possibly super stupid question but did any of your tattoos hurt i'm getting my first one on tuesday depends on where you're getting it because mm -hmm. i have like mine done here mm. and when they did the part right here i actually fell asleep it's so calming it doesn't hurt when they got to the bone up here, mm -hmm. it hurt a lot. When they did the inside it's here, similar. holy shit, did that hurt a lot. Yeah, the inside for me too. So this part <clears> in <throat> here, it depends on the, the sensitivity of your skin, like uh -huh. the location. Right. So the inside of my arm here hurt a lot. Mm -hmm. um, this part here didn't bother me at all. But my feet mm -hmm. tattoos, never stopped Those were hurting. nuts. I have, I have other tattoos and I didn't feel any of them. So it just mm -hmm. depends on the skin and the bone and the location for mm -hmm. it. But mm -hmm. your adrenaline's going to kick in and help you out. The key... Guys, this is the 100% key. Mm. Eat a big meal before you get a tattoo done. Oh, yeah. People get nervous and don't eat. And I have seen people, including my friends, pass straight out because your body doesn't know what's happening. And then it just runs out of adrenaline and sugar and keeps <coughs> not eating. <coughs> like, eat. I don't ever drink soda, but you mm. drink soda and you eat, like, crack, um, what's called, like, cookies and, like, chocolate bars. And that keeps you awake. Uh, this Jin scarf is so lovely. Ginger Cycle Ninja uh, says, first time catching a live stream. Hello there. Hello and welcome. Uh, you love watching us. Thank you very much. Uh, you were wondering if you had any book uh, that's a favorite book that also makes us sad. Oh my God, my entire philosophy class for uh, six Your years. favorite is Monster Calls by Patrick Ness. It's beautifully written and made me cry. I know what book made me cry forever and ever and ever. What? Do you remember, Simon? I went to the washroom and put oh, of your hand. It was a terrible book. What was it called again? Time Traveler's Wife. Time Traveler's Wife. Martina, when she finished it, was like sobbing, tears streaming down her face. Yeah. She like grabbed onto my hand and she's like, I'm not gonna let you go. And then she had to go to the bathroom, made me walk with her to the bathroom while she sat down Megan and held her outside the doorway while I peed. Because we're not the kind of couple that looks at each other pee. Some couples are okay with that. I don't want to watch each other pee. <laughs> I'm like, I'll be okay. I'll be okay. And she held my hand as she peed. She was just totally erect. I don't like books that make me sad anymore. I don't like movies that make me sad anymore. Anything that's recommended for like Oscar best picture, I don't want to watch because I don't understand this fascination with sad art, mm. sad movies, sad books. Why do people want to invest their time in watching something or reading something that's going to make you feel like shit afterwards? Hope Scope said they also read Time Teller's Wife and sobbed. Yeah. And sobbed and sobbed Fuck and sobbed. Fuck that. You know what? I, don't say bad words. Sorry. You know, I don't want to feel sad. I want to feel happy. Mm -hmm. Why is it that... Art is only considered like great or serious art if it makes you sad. Why is it that comedies aren't nominated for Oscars? Why is it that we have such a fascination with human suffering rather than human happiness? And that's what upsets me about like a lot of like the, the, the way that art is going and, and what's considered good art. So for my answer, I don't like reading sad books. Mm -hmm. I read a whole bunch of them in university totally destroyed me before yeah. I met Martina and Martina was able to pull me out of it and I'm not reading any more sad books ever again. Stephanie said that people relate to sad movies and I agree <clears throat> that people relate to sad movies but um, I think there's like a time and a place like some people I know just only watch sad movies yeah. and it really makes you feel down of course. Like the whole time. I don't want to relate to I want to relate to Iron Man and Captain America like those are people mm -hmm. that are way out of anything yeah. I'll ever be able to I think do. that it's important like you can watch a sad movie and you can be moved by it and, and feel like oh my family or my friends and you can feel these feelings towards them but mm -hmm. just don't watch them all the time constantly mm. and, and make yourself a wreck because that's kind of like what happens in university when you read miserable books all the time you just mm. feel like the world is miserable or if you study politics yeah. all the time you feel sad about everything like you need to have a balance in your life i'm getting so bored of reddit lately because all i see on reddit is just like trump this bernie sanders that hillary clinton this i just want to look 
at cute dogs and cute cats and some <laughs> interesting data things here and there, but it's all politics and misery and like angry stuff like that. Why can't I just mm -hmm. watch something that makes me happy? Yeah. I think watching things that make you happy is important. <clears throat> you you know. need to have that balance. So that's, that's a very long answer to your question. Good job, Becky. There you go. Know. Yeah. Um, you make me happy. Thanks, Pancha. I love you, girl. Did you, did you drink? Are you drunk again? No, I just look at you and I just love you all the freaking time. Okay. There you go. Every freaking day. And every, every freaking, freaking night. Way. I want a freaky girl, your body so freaking tight. That's a real song, by the way. I'm going to say hi to what Jevin. What must I say? Who said, I wanted to thank what you, Martino, for inspiring me to go into the health field. My patients are waiting, so it's time to get back to work. Love you. Have a good day at work today. You. Real song. Baby. Good job. Let's show to see. You done? I am done. I smell an overwhelming waft of um, uh, sour cream and onion chips it's coming so from bad. both of us. I don't know how I got it, Coming from both of us. Chocolate's like, yep, I'm just drunk, all right. Not drunk. I have uh, allergies. No, I don't have allergies. I have a cold. Too, la too late. You admitted it. You all heard it. I'm going to rewind it. Well, oh, all allergies. the Turkish people stuff sank to the bottom. Good. So I'm <laughs> glad you're finally finding it there. I'm finally finding it. Thank you I'm so much. I'm going to use the Cottonelle Fresh Care, which I know is for my bum, but I'm going to use it for my hands mm. because I need it to clean them right now. Mm. Let's answer a couple more questions here. Uh, Angela Pham says, San Martina, have you found any food in Japan that beats royal, um, Korean royal cuisine? Also, have you found any food in Japan that is symbolic, similar to Royal Korean, uh, Korean Royal Cuisine? I love you guys. Mm -hmm. um, that's a really difficult question for us to answer because if we say anything in Japan is better than anything in Korea, then the netizens are going to absolutely lose their minds with anger. Mm -hmm. It's forbidden for me to say so. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to try to answer this as nicely as I can. We've had kaiseki uh, in Kyoto mm -hmm. in three different places. Mm -hmm. uh, kaiseki is basically... <clears throat> It's like kind of like traditional Japanese mm. food. Like it's not fusion. They right. don't add extra things. Yeah, yeah. It's like very Japanese ingredients. Um, and every time I've had kaiseki, it's been I've enjoyed it more. Mm -hmm. It it resonated with me personally as an individual, and it mm -hmm. doesn't necessarily say anything about what country is better than the mm -hmm. other. Please, Korean mm -hmm. citizens, don't get upset. But I've enjoyed kaiseki significantly more uh, than Korean royal cuisine. We're in April. That's why we're going to Kyoto. We're mm -hmm. shooting at two famous places one of them is the most famous kaiseki restaurant in japan mm -hmm. it's like the harvard university of kaiseki restaurants the, the chef they're kind of like trained so many famous mm -hmm. chefs in this field so, and we're, so we're going to kind of like the ground base of it you know so yep and i remember like when we went to like suzue like mm -hmm. that guy is he's actually never done mm -hmm. a magazine interview even i think the other thing mm -hmm. is that um korean royal cuisine was really good but it was quite similar to stuff that we had as everyday food in korea right right so like for example we'd have like a stewed fish dish exactly like that but maybe it was just served a lot prettier at the cuisine place mm. there were only a couple things that i had never had before while most mm. of it i'd had before mm. but when i go for like the kaiseki or different places in japan yeah it's not available for you as everyday japanese no. food it's like a specialty thing it's um, it's just amazing but i will say that korean food in japan is really good if you mm. go to koreatown yeah um like amazing it's mm. like having royal korean cuisine because they're making it like a high level i think so there you go yeah it's quite good um, let's, we got some questions backing up here. Okay, yeah? what do we have here? Pick the next one. I, I asked the last one, you asked this one. Um, let me scroll back up here because I think we missed. Did you say hi to Jennifer Diaz from San Diego? I did not yet. Thank you for your awesome mm. videos and I hope you can come and visit. Sending hugs and they've been watching since 2014. Oh ho! I really want to go to San Diego because of Anchorman. Is that a whale's vagina? Ron Burgundy? It could be. If you've seen it before. Okay. Um, and one last thing I'm going to say, Silver Stitch 28. Happy Hina Matsuri! Today uh, is um, doll day. The yes, two dolls that yes. come together, yes. Great to see you guys live at chat. Finally, good day from Australia. Hope you guys are doing Japan more and more. We, we are. are in the... We've been here for a year and I thought mm -hmm. I'm, the honeymoon period from what people say online is supposed to be like only like a year. Pause a second. So, what? Guys, is it frozen? Because no, it's just ours. Someone over here said it was frozen. No, we just have terrible like Wi-Fi connection here. Let me just check to see. But it seems like it's, it's okay here. I don't know. <clears throat> it might be frozen. Nope. Okay, it's, it's good. Fine. It's good. Okay, everyone's saying it's that it's totally good. It's totally fine. Yeah. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna open this package from Anna and Janina. Janina from, explains how to properly pronounce her name in the letter. By from the way. Austria. So sometimes I tried to read some of the letters in advance so that I can actually figure out what's happening. Here we have sausage. Yes. Nice sausage. Okay, let me. Cabanossi. Okay, we have some cabanossi sausage. Here we have a bag full of 
homemade cookies. Okay, Pavel Pronosis, and the J is pronounced mm. like the Y and yes. Oh, okay. She's Polish, the name. Oh, Janina. Oh, there you go. Janina. As soon as you said it, you know who it is. Janina. Yeah. Okay. Uh-huh. Janina. And... Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Pictures of bunnies Pictures and kitties. Pictures of bunnies and people. Ladies, hello. Hello, hello ladies. Sheila. And mm-hmm. your bunny. We have some Does anyone weird- have a- Let me know if you have a pet rabbit. This is a very touristy thing to buy oh in a God, very typical souvenir, great. but they're actually pretty good. These are Mozart's Kugel. I would like a Mozart Kugel here's right a, now. Here's a Mozart Kugel. Mozart Kugel in the house. Mozart Kugel, what, what? What, what in the house? Okay. So that first guy said, Martini, your hair is bomb. Thank you. Okay, here's what I did because some guys have been asking here. Okay. I French braided. Do you guys know when you French braid, you start the braid and then the next strand you add a little bit to it. So I started French braiding from the top all the way here. And then when I got to here, I only started French braiding from one side. <clears throat> so I just kept grabbing from one side ah, only. So. And I let the other one go straight. <clears throat> and then I got to the bottom, and then I rolled it back this way, and I pinned it. And then I pulled this up, and I pinned that into another braid. So it's basically like a braid that goes back and forth. Just that tastes like sense. European chocolate. Does it? You it that. sounds really dense. I can hear it in your mouth. It's a really <laughs> thick and dense chocolate. <laughs> Hmm. Okay. I'm having a hard time feeling this. Also, guys, I just did my first gel nails at home. <clears throat> oh yeah! My first LED. They're not perfect, but if you guys can see them. Right here. This is oh, a people are saying it's really frozen. A draggy, gone. draggy taxi. Is it frozen? It looks like we're still doing it right here. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no, from there it just looks a little like pixelated. Oh man, right. that is thick. Super dense. This is like a hazelnut cream on the inside. Oh, oh, here we have another letter. It's good? Yeah, it's fine. Mm. 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 In your face, In piece your of face. SHT. So just restart the video and it's all good. Perfect. <laughs> so helpful for your username. Uh, I, can't, I can't read this here, so I'm going to put that with the pictures there. Let's see. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's a very big letter. Uh, I'm going to answer <clears throat> right here, Jellybelly22, mm-hmm. who randomly woke, woke up at 4.15 a.m. So lucky I finally catch you live. Thank you for making mm. videos and maintaining a balance between positivity and keeping it real. Love from New York, Angelica. I... Jelly Belly. I, I think like we kind of have like a, a, an, an idea of like the balance that we want to have. Mm-hmm, and mm-hmm. some people always think a balance has to be 50-50, but for our message, I don't want our balance to be 50-50 because sometimes keeping it real for us involves talking about some of the difficult things that are happening in our mm-hmm. life. But if we talked about that as much as we talked about the positive things, I think that wouldn't convey the idea that we want to have. I want to talk about the challenging or the negative things rarely Mm -hmm. and focus more on producing things that are happy and fun because I want to show people that the negative things don't consume our lives. Mm -hmm. They're part of our lives, but I'd rather focus on the things that make us happy, the things that make us energized. I was going to say two things. Mm. One, I really need lots of water. Do you? Well, we have a little bottle of white right there. Guess I'm washing it down with Wash alcohol. it down with that girl. What I will mm. say is, you know, I, today was a hard day for me. I've had like a really hard week. With really this bad is a really weather, shitty week for you. Horrible shooting pains all week. Yeah. It's really easy to just be down and talk about negative things all the time. Mm. So by focusing on the positive, you f- you feel happier. Mm. Like when you're down, you feel sad, you feel awful, you start thinking about things from the past, and then you become this little sad, angry gremlin. Mm. So for me, I would rather focus on as many positive things as possible mm. and share that with you guys too, because I know that you guys go through hard times as well. Mm. You're mm. suffering from school or from family or friends or boyfriends and girlfriends or any other personal issues. So mm. what I want to share with you is my happy feelings so mm. that you guys can watch it and feel happy. That's mm. what I want. Mm. And then that way we can all feel a little bit happier. Mm. So that's why I want, if I if I shared with you all my sad days all the time, then we'd mm-hmm. all just be sad together, uh-huh. right? That's not fun. Uh, I'm sorry, the Indie Kitten, that I you've been this. having a bad pain day as well. Um, so Martina's solving hers mm-hmm. with some Icelandic alcohol. <laughs> I wanted water. <laughs> well, that's all we had. No, I'm sharing, I'm solving mine by, by being online with you guys. Mm-hmm. Because my choice today was I'm not going to go online, like, forget it, I'm staying home, I'm not doing anything. And then I said, no, I'm going to go online and talk to you mm-hmm. guys, and I feel awesome now. Failed offerings agreed with what I said about Reddit and being like sad sucks. Try uh, the subreddits awe and uplifting news. I've already subscribed to those two. The problem is I've only subscribed to a few subreddits, so I have to keep on scrolling through all until I find subreddits that I like. So today we found Zoomies. 
Zoomies is when you know animals get really excited and run around. And run really, really fast. So we found that so one. So we just actually. found the zoomies. So I'm trying to add more subreddits so that I don't have to go to the default subreddits. Um, oh again. my god, I yeah. love these wafers. These are some of my all time favorite, the mm -hmm. hazelnut cream ones. Mm -hmm. um, I'm going to do a shout out to Liz M who said, Martina, from one artistic, depressed lady to another, mm -hmm. I just wanted to say thank you for your video and for getting it. Mm -hmm. Thank you for inspiring me to stay creative and to travel. And I mean, hashtag a relationship gold. Am I right? Thank relationship. You, Thank, Thank you, you Liz. Hey. What? That was a good one. Wasn't it? I feel like you get a little louder. Like a tiny bit louder. We should do a um, fart off, and whoever's is the loudest doesn't have to drink the. Um... True. True. All right. Go, go. Okay, you guys can judge us. No, no, no. We're, we're going to be honest with each other. We can hear who's louder. You want to get one shot? You want to get okay, one shot? shot. One okay. shot. Turns out BP was only talking about face farting. Okay, go for it. Okay, I'm going for the... The beard right here. I can't go on a beard. Go, go for it right here in the no, cheek. No, I'm going here. Okay, go. Here come my swimmer lungs. <clears throat> here we go. Okay, that's one. It's pretty good. Let's be honest. Going right here. Okay. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Whoa, I lost I so bad. Done. I lost so bad. I you know why? Because you blew on the tight part of me. I blew on the soft part, and the soft part absorbed all of the sound. Are you trying to say I'm fat? <laughs> For special times, make it Brennan time. Hey, I successfully lost six pounds in the past one and a half months. <clears throat> Intermittent fasting is great. I'm losing about a healthy, the healthy way to do it is about a pound a week, right? Uh, a pound a week it's, is it's healthy. healthy. Mm -hmm. So I'm doing intermittent fasting, which means I stop eating at nighttime at like nine or 10 maximum mm -hmm. PM. Mm -hmm. Don't eat anything overnight. You can drink tea and water and you can have coffee without milk. Um, and then in the morning, we don't eat until around two o'clock in the mm. afternoon. You should definitely drink lots of liquids and water. So and we have a 10 hour eating period. Mm. And it gets your, um, uh, what's it called? Uh, my words back to burning again in the middle of a fast you want a burning energy in, in a different yes. way than you do if you're in a non-fasted state mm -hmm. so there you go yeah so, so i've been, I've been slowly losing weight and mm -hmm. which is good because uh too much weight on my body and my joints is quite painful mm -hmm. and i've been denying it for a long time but i'm trying mm -hmm. really hard because it's hard to exercise mm -hmm. so i have to basically choose something uh taryn wicker hard. says hi from australia my mom got hooked on you guys and she loves spudgy memers and your food videos please give a shout out for my mom hello to mrs wicker i hope your name is mrs wicker if not hello to taryn's mom taryn's mom hello taryn's mom hello taryn's mom, hello, taryn's mom. <laughs> Like I was gonna do the spudgy joke earlier, but if you didn't join us, yes. what happened before? What happened there? I've been missing it so much. You don't know what we're talking about. You have to. Um, you, you missed metabolism. Thank you, Amy Brown. Amy Brown was metabolism. like your metabolism. Gets but not just metabolism. It also because your insulin levels mm -hmm. are 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 lower, mm -hmm. or yeah, because your insulin levels are lower than that winds up meaning that you burn energy mm -hmm. from fat rather than from food. So is this yeah. a package that someone's supposed to open? Yeah, those is part of the box. I didn't get to open it yet. Homemade apricot jam. Oh Hello. my god. Is anyone a jammer here? Um, I totally like to jam. Like space jam. Yeah, man. Uh -huh. um, I made jam with my granddaddy. Yeah. I, we made jam together also. For and we gave wedding. that out for our wedding. We made blueberry jam, homemade, mm -hmm. that my granddaddy taught me. And then Simon and I made it. We jammed it all and we made labels that said, Simon and Martina, spread, spread the, the love. love. Mm -hmm. Get it? Because we made homemade jam and spread it. It actually said SM mm -hmm. spread the mm -hmm. love, which we thought mm -hmm. was a funny joke. Uh, Lizzie said, this is my first uh, live stream. My husband and I watch you. Me especially when my depression gets the best of me. My go-to channel is your channel to cheer me up. I'm glad. I'm Thank happy you. to hear that, Lizzie. I hope that we can keep on um, spreading some happiness yep. in our videos. Open the happy, spread the cheer. Mm -hmm. I want to make you guys... Yesterday, by the way, we filmed at an amazing restaurant with a chef who has just a beautiful philosophy. I feel like this guy does for food what we do for videos and that's kind of like a little teaser about like what it's all about it's just this guy is absolutely amazing uh the video should be coming oh my gosh <laughs> this is great look at this this is from our picture yeah oh my gosh it's our picture as well and... oh there's two wait oh, no. there's two of them. Yeah. yeah no yes yes no yes. yes this one looks like it's printed a little bit better the color there you go oh this is amazing this is lovely thank you so much 
Ooh. It looks like they drew it and then they yeah, scanned yeah. it so that it's like kind of I like think a glossy so. print. It looks like it. This was from the Spread the Love one that we did. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah exactly. From Happy Love Thank Happens. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. um, this was a, just a lovely package. Thank you guys for putting it together. I, I totally love these. Uh -huh. And I think these are chocolate coated raisins, which I also really, really love. Uh, Stephanie Vasquez mm -hmm. says that she makes strawberry jam since she's a baker. Yes. Strawberry jam. That's definitely... I, I think I need to make more jam, is what I need to do. But the fruit here is kind of expensive for me to make with jam. Uh, Farhan Rahman says the R Bacon subreddit is a good one to check out. We haven't checked out the bacon subreddit. Yeah. I haven't even heard about it. Um, Field Offerings also said that there's R Blep, uh -huh. which you follow. Yeah, I follow the Blep. Yeah. Like yeah. And R Blop, mm -hmm. R Snack, and R Bacon. I'm not a fan of the Snack because Snack is for snakes. And they're supposed to be cute snakes, but I don't find them cute. They're cute ever. snakes. Um, what do they call them? The cute little danger noodles? Uh, danger noodles. Danger noodles. Um, Kara <laughs> Rose wants to know if you've been looking at the Build a Ladder hashtag. And we do. We check it out regularly. We have, yep. Um, the and Build a Ladder really hashtag. It's inspiring to us that it's people amazing. actually do that. On Twitter, I'm seeing people telling me what they've decided to do in order to build their ladder. And that just makes me so happy. I read the comments on the video that I put up on depression every single day. Mm -hmm. And I see people coming up and saying that they feel the same or they feel inspired. And it makes me so happy. Because as you know, I was really worried that I'd bring everyone down with that video, yep. but I think it did the <clears throat> opposite, which was confirm things to people who mm -hmm. were also suffering that they mm -hmm. weren't going crazy, mm -hmm. and then we realized that we're in it together. So. Uh, which is kind of what Lizzie said here. Mm -hmm. uh, this is uh, your first live stream. Uh, your husband and you watched... We read this already. I just read the one. Sorry. And the depression gets the best of her. There you go. So that makes me feel happy. Whoa. How much alcohol was in that alcohol? Oh, ducky. I'm rereading the ones that we already have. Oh, ducky. Okay. Gabby Hogan says snakes are adorable, though. I disagree. She's, she says Let us she's kindly a, disagree. Gabby said that she's a Slytherin, so I have to say she's biased. The snakes in your Slytherin are not exactly cute snakes. Not at uh, all. They're pretty scary. Mm -hmm. That's all mm -hmm. I'm saying. Um, Rachel said that she has found our channel back in 2008. That's when we that's started. That's right when we started. Yeah, and it's been her go-to for smiles when she's down. Mm. 2008, that's like... <clears throat> When we were still using um, our point and shoot cameras, right? No, that's when we had like the like. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah the, we just the used Sony. a normal little point and shoot. We didn't camera. even have like 720p no. at the time. I know it was like potato mm. versions, right? And then we invested in that one that flips. The flip one. Yeah, and then we finally invested in our first like actual DSLR. Anti Roku says, "How do we stay motivated in university when I feel motiv overwhelmed and stressed out?" Mm. Um, well, my strategy was to. Uh, cut off all ties from friends and family and hobbies. <laughs> that wasn't assignment. Uh, and just bury myself in studying and don't speak to anybody until all of your studying is done. And how did that work? That's, um, I didn't, my GPA was great. I had a 4.0 GPA for the first two years of university. Mm -hmm. And then I realized that I needed some kind of um, balance? balance in my life. And then I started like hanging out with people. And then I met this hot one right here. It's good and, thing you did. And then I put a ring on it. So I'm not sure what kind of um advice I could give you because I'm a very bad person to follow advice from. As for me, I realized that university was not the be all end of the world. No, it feels like it's a stepping stone. Yeah, so when you're in it, you think to yourself, very expensive stepping stone. Oh my gosh, that was a right up cross in there now that I see it. Sorry about that, guys. I realized that it was extremely like you just think that this is my entire life, and if I don't do well, my entire life is over, but I know people that graduated from university with great degrees mm. and then they either didn't go into the field nope. or they couldn't get jobs nope. or, you know, and they mm. threw away all this time to make friends and to experience life. We were mm. not partiers. Like no. we didn't party and drink and do anything like uh -uh. that in university, but I still had a balance of having a job, yeah. having friends. I had boyfriends. Like one of our closest friends, uh, did a, a film degree and now he works construction. He's like, uh, he's gone up in construction. So he's in like a senior position now, but yeah. like, if he would have just gone in construction to construction, begin with, then yeah. he would have been in a better position yeah. now. So just remember that as like high school, yeah. high school is not the entire world. You know, university so is not, not the entire, entire world. world. <clears throat> when you go, go get a job after university, that is still not the entire world. No. There's other stuff in life. And I think that we forget that a lot. The so entire like, world is YouTube. No, that's the that's answer the right there. Just no. watch YouTube all the time. No, it's the balance because mm. you know, like mm. in high school, if you have a bad high school that you go to, and if you're being bullied, and if you have like no friends or you have not good friends, it feels like that's going to represent life. Mm. But that's not true. That's just one part of it. I'm in the middle of an important speech. You, you have to finish off us. your speech with the trumpet. That was a good one. We do that to each other sometimes. We put our arms in front of each other. 
and they got a furbit in our elbow crease. Especially if someone's like being sad uh -huh. or like <clears throat> ranting about something. That was not a rant earlier. Oh so wow, failed offerings actually said that the video encouraged you to talk to your doctor about your joint dislocation. That's fantastic. Amazing. You, you said you've been putting it off because you didn't want to be a burden. A burden to who? Yeah. Exactly. Like I, I'm worried about a lot of people that just diagnose themselves and like I think I know exactly what I have and, and that's it. I do recommend speaking with a doctor mm -hmm. and asking them about it, but don't feel like you should be able to have like a comfortable relationship with your doctor mm -hmm. where you like talk to them about different things. And, and also remember that yeah. not all doctors even know what it is. So exactly. like for me, I was accidentally diagnosed by a doctor who just happened to hear from one of the people who was doing my shoulder, my mm. I had dislocated my shoulder again, mm. happened to overhear the technician over talking about mm. how I dislocated it, mm. and they saw it like dislocate on the actual mm. like screen when they were mm. putting the needle in, mm. and this random person's like, hello, you don't know me, but I'm pretty sure you have BDS. So I didn't even get diagnosed by my doctor. I got no. diagnosed by a stranger doctor. A random doctor, yeah. And then that sent us down the path of figuring this out. And other doctors didn't believe me. And so the not believing thing is really big yeah. amongst EDS people. But mm. you have to tell yourself that you're not crazy and mm. that this is what you're feeling. And even if someone doesn't believe you, you still have to make things work for yourself. Mm. You know, you can't go around being like, well, they don't believe me. Mm. You know, this is unfair. It, it is unfair. Mm. But you got to say, it's unfair. How am I going to deal with it so that I'm not miserable? Because it's just you <laughs> experiencing your own life, right? Magic Melon wants to know how is fast food in Japan? It's the best freaking food in the world. Like yeah. I, I, we, I, we tweeted out a link a couple days ago, mm -hmm. uh, an article by David Chang about why Tokyo has the best food in the world. Mm -hmm. We're not exaggerating when we say this. We've traveled to many places now. Tokyo is the best food place in the entire world because a lot of places, a lot of countries like Korea, for example, mm -hmm. does Korean food really, really well. But if it wants to do other food like Italian or French food, it's quite bad at it. Mm -hmm. But it's Korean food is legit. When it comes to Tokyo, they do Japanese food really well. Mm -hmm. But they do French food phenomenally. Because a lot of um, chefs in Japan will yeah. go overseas to travel. Right. And they'll train really yeah. hard under another chef. Yeah. And then they bring it back to Japan. We, we have a bistro that we go to regularly now. Mm -hmm. uh, in which the, the guy trained at a Michelin star restaurant in France. And he just came back to Tokyo and he's just like opened up his small little bistro. Not anything like big. Reason unbelievably reasonable prices. Unbelievably reasonable prices. Price. And it's just, it's some of the, it's one of my favorite restaurants in all of Japan. Mm -hmm. It's and weird because it's French and you're it's like. It's French and it's just amazing freaking food. Yeah. So all food like ramen. If you're looking for a price by the way, it's $28 mm -hmm. for an appetizer and an entree. And uh -huh. it's like ginormous sizes. They're massive. These are like Texas sizes. Like, like I couldn't even finish the amount of food that I got. It's just absolutely nuts. Yeah. So there you go. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, we missed a somebody up here. Yes. Crack, Crack Blue. Blue. Yes. Crack Blue said I'm Japanese and I was born and raised in New Zealand. Whoa. New Zealand in the house. So I haven't been to a lot of places in Japan. Thank you for awesome videos of Japan. I hope to visit some of the places you've recommended from Anna. Mm. Definitely make sure that if you come to Japan, you also in Tokyo get a chance to go out to like Fukuoka and mm. like other places like that because I think everyone hits the main ones like Kyoto and Osaka and Tokyo mm. Mm. but I didn't realize that like Fukuoka prefecture is known for like awesome food as well. Fukuoka is a place for foodies if you're serious mm. about food there's a place right beside the airport called Hirao Tempura it's just obscenely great. If you listen to our listen to our podcast, our podcast we'll tell you a story about SBS it. Pop Asia we Learn. talked about what yes, happened today. Exactly. Oh <clears> take a look at this Oh wow! Familiar. This is from this Chicago. Is, this is from the Chicago meetup. That's awesome. No, oh. this was in Chicago. Okay, so this is from Victoria. Mm -hmm. Um, okay, there's a whole bunch of stuff in here, so I'm not gonna read it now. Oh my gosh! Let me take a look. My here. beard was so huge back then. Here you go, how Simon. Did you, how did you? <gasps> Yo, I'm actually getting a little sweaty right now. Dove, this is my actual favorite deodorant. I do the pomegranate and I do the shea butter one and Damn I'm actually son. running out. Thank you this so is, much. I actually started feeling a little bit sweaty mm -hmm. in the pits. This is great. You sable this fiber is, said this well, is so much fun. I'm happy you're having fun. Yes. I like mm. uh, sharing our awkwardness with you guys. We're, yes. We're awkward people. But we, we, are, we are a little awkward. A little bit awkward. Hello there. Um, this is wonderful. My You're sister, see this in videos, guys. Andrea Ewald says, My sister will be traveling around Japan oh, more soon. She is. studies in Tokyo. Shout out for Evelyn. Evelyn represent. What up, Evelyn? That's the best shout out I could do. What does Evelyn represent? Because when you say, because she's representing her uh -huh. sister, Evelyn. Uh -huh. Lillian said she loves that deodorant. Does anybody use deodorant of the opposite sex? I don't know why it is that, like, this has to be for men and the other one has to be for women. 
but I love the way that men's deodorant smells. Mm -hmm. Maybe because I like the way it smells on men, and so I'm like, I would like to smell like that as well. Mm -hmm. So sometimes I use men's deodorant. However, I find that women's deodorant happens to work better for me. Mm. And you before forgot your deodorant. And I used your antiperspirant once, and it was solid. Right. It Maybe worked. Maybe the girl's deodorant's just better, but this yeah. smells amazing. Isn't this scarf amazing? Hannah Peacock said this scarf. This is an amazing <clears throat> scarf. Liz M says, Martina, you should do more vids like the Onigiri video if you have the time stream to create them on Twitch. Oh, oh okay. You so, would meet so many other artists. Liz, I am currently working on a video. Um, Dan and I are working on like writing it all out. Mm -hmm. um, I'm going to do one on ramen. Mm -hmm. And I want to explain all the different broths to you guys and what, mm. what they mean so that when you come to Japan, you can understand the differences between them because there's uh -huh. just so many like overwhelming varieties. Well, somebody here says mean things. So guess who's going to get uh, blocked? Bye bye. Goodbye. <laughs> Goodbye. Thanks Don't say coming. mean things. Bye bye. Oh, Quila Dano recommended other subreddits. Cat standing up. I like the one. Red pandas. Hope you guys are taking notes on this. Oh, uh, my phone's streaming. I, I can't check it. Like Red phone. pandas, Maine Coons, ah and ah with Maine more Coons, W's. A big, those are big kitties. Mm. I'm gonna restart this because mine. It There's seems like when your live stream freezes because I'm mm. watching it here. Uh -huh. Um, you restart it and then it works again. Caitlin Scotland says you're off to class now, but you're so glad to catch us. Keep up the amazing work, you champions of no, justice. No, those videos better, right? Keep up the amazing work, you champions, champions of justice in life. Are we champions yeah. of justice? Because I'm worried about the title. Because Did I don't you say want... because we're champions. I don't want to be considered like warriors of justice, uh, because then we might get confused with for justice social warrior, justice, justice warriors, warriors, which are not necessary. Is that a bath bomb? Sure is. Who's gonna take a bath now? Oh yeah, girl. This smells. We've never had this one mm. before. Almost smells coconutty. That's really lovely. Doesn't that smell great? Hello. You guys ever get bath bombs, but you don't want to use the whole thing in one go? So you chop it in half. Nope. Because we do that. You just uh, you do that. I drop the whole bath bomb in. You do not. Oh. Hey, Happy Hauser in the house from Taiwan. Happy Hauser says he uses women's perfume Polo One. Ryan, you do not. This whole room smells so intense now. This is amazing. Did you see what this is? What You're is gonna that? like that a lot. It's peanut butter jelly time. Sorry, I'm gonna try that now. Didn't Ryan dress up as the peanut butter banana before? Mm -hmm. uh, this is, okay, this is amazing. What Metro, is this? Metropolis Coffee Company. Okay. This has got notes of cashew, white grape, and toffee. Ooh, white grape you say. Mm. Very nice. Mm -hmm. And okay. we got you some instant ranch powder. Nicely done. And here we have ginger mints. Everything here is from Trader Joe's and stuff. It's just so I really like that when we went to the States mm -hmm. and we had a chance to go there and we saw so much cool mm. stuff like quinoa, um, like coconut quinoa, instant oatmeal. Like there's so many cool things like that. Is this how peanut butter and jam tastes? This peanut butter and jam? I don't remember tasting peanut butter jam. Yeah. Tart raspberry jelly is what it says. Mm. Is it tart? Kind of. I think the milk chocolate is really overpowering. This just smells like peanut butter. The rest of it. I'm mm. not gonna have it right now. Okay, um, we got someone who says if we're gonna do Coco Curry live, what we're working on uh -huh. while the studio here is being rebuilt uh -huh. is that we're thinking of doing um, kind of like a mukbang segment with you guys. We're mm. still gonna do our live streams for opening up packages to mm -hmm. thank you guys for sending them over, mm. but we're thinking that maybe we should do some more mukbangs and eat with you guys and talk with you guys and maybe have some challenges. Mm. Kind of like eat your sushi but not mm. as intense because the editing was just too much. That's um, what we're thinking of doing. Adriana suggests we go to Ipudo in Tokyo or Kyoto. We went there once. Mm -hmm. It wasn't necessarily our favorite. We prefer Ichiran to Ipudo. No, but we could try Ipudo again because I always believe in giving like places two or three chances before yes. I form my judgment. But my first one wasn't necessarily my favorite. I don't remember Ipudo as well as the other one because do you, remember, do you even remember Ipudo? Nope. Beside the Yodabashi to the right of it when we went downstairs. Oh, right. I remember Ipudo. Yeah. yeah. I definitely prefer the other one. You should instead. have. Significantly. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, Evil Carrot just flew past saying that it's their last day in Tokyo. What should they do? Your have last you had Kremia ice cream yet? Have you had Kremia ice cream? <laughs> if I, what would we do if it was our last day in Tokyo? Last day in Tokyo. Uh, uh, oh, man. You know what we would do? I Like, for me, I'd really just, like, want to go back to... <clears throat> This sounds so lame. What are you going to say? I know this is, everyone's going to be like, oh my god, you, you know, blah, blah. I really like Meiji Temple in, in Harajuku. Pause a second. Victoria, thank you so much for this package. Okay. This was lovely. Um, Meiji Temple, if you haven't been. Because I feel like that represents, like, one of the things that astonished me about Japan so much. Like, Harajuku is crazy intense and busy. Yes. But then you cross the street, you walk through some trees, and you get to this beautiful serene temple and i think 
when we first went there as tourists a long time ago, that's what really struck me like about like something totally amazing mm. about Japan. And I think for my last day, I would want to re. Uh, I want to go there again so I could relive that first uh, sense of awe that I had. Yeah, because it's like so busy, and then、uh-huh. you walk into Meiji Temple and you just hear everything fading as it goes, and it's、uh-huh. just like this beautiful, quiet, in the、mm-hmm. middle of the city kind of experience.、Mm-hmm. It's really、mm-hmm. nice. Mm-hmm. Man, what else would we do? No, that's my answer. Obviously, Coco Curry. I mean, I mean, even... Coco Curry in the temple. What? I don't know if you can, but that might be an idea. Mm-hmm. 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 You guys, do you have any other suggestions about wh- what places that what you you'd go in Japan? Some people、time. are saying temples are very peaceful. Yes.、Mm-hmm. Um, Ileana Jinnit says, "I want to thank you guys for your videos and yourselves, Martina. Your recent video on depression was a final push to convince me to go in." Let's see. You're live. Are we? It says we're live. Okay, we're back. Is it back for sure? Yes. Yes, it says we're back. Back. It's gonna see if we're back. Do you guys ever accidentally like your own tweet? That's embarrassing. That's That's embarrassing. I was like trying to click on the thing to see if we're back, and I liked my own tweet, but I had to unlike it secretly. Um. We're back. So what I was saying before I got cut off is, I think what's amazing um, to me is, I feel like sometimes we just like. Set up a camera, push a button, and then we talk to it. And to think that that results in some real life、mm. action—that that results in people、mm-hmm. doing something. But let me just step in a second. Okay. We did not just set up the camera, press the button. No, I know、work. there's a lot. I know more what you're、work. trying to say. I know there's a lot more work. It just feels like so little to do so much.、Mm. You know, and that's I, what it feels like to me. No, I just think that it, it's、mm-hmm. human sharing. Like、yes. we talked about this before, we can look. You can watch a movie. You can、mm-hmm. see video games. We can see all this like zombie violence. People、mm-hmm. can be cut in half with chainsaws, but people don't sit down and really talk to each other about real things in life, like、uh-huh. depression or struggling with anxiety or like it's like we all keep that on the inside、uh-huh. and then go about our lives and thinking that it's just us. Yeah. And so it's really hard and it's embarrassing to share that with somebody. But in in me sharing it, I think other people were able to say. You're right. I have this too, where I am going to push myself more.、Mm. So that's what I think is important: is like real human interaction with each <clears> other. <throat> you know, we're not actors. This is our life. So.、Um, Lee gave us a correction. She said there's a tea store called Ipodo. I was thinking Ipudo. <laughs> Ipodo <laughs> is a ramen. It's、shop. not a what's it called? It's not a ramen place. It's a tea shop. I ha- we haven't checked out Ipodo yet. My bad. <sighs> Thanks, thanks for the correction. Okay. Uh-huh. Yes. Uh huh. Yes. Aileen said that we are back. Yes. Yes. We are back. Some check. Yes.、Um, Jennifer Tippy said, Martina, could you please do some more hair tutorial videos? I know I've been putting putting it off forever.、Mm-hmm. Um, I definitely on the Open the Happy channel and planning on doing a couple of videos soon. I'm not sure because our schedule.、Mm-hmm. I wanted to do a hair video because you guys keep asking about that bun puff that I do with the braid.、Mm-hmm. So I wanted to do that video and I also wanted to do a video. On some of the products that I'm using now in Japan,、mm. I still use a lot of Korean beauty products, but I found some different ones in Japan as well that I really like that I wanted to share with you.、Mm. I never know how to start those videos because I don't want to be like, "Hi guys, like today I'm like you know all the beauty bloggers have that start." Hi guys. So I want to I want to make it a little、Hi、bit more、everyone. exciting, and I don't、yeah. know how to do that yet. So,、um, in your face piece of. Uh, says, how do you talk to Simon about your feelings? My、mm-hmm. boyfriend says I always start defending myself instead of explaining, talking, and don't know how.、Mm. You don't really defend yourself when you talk about your feelings. Well, one of the things that we、mm-hmm. talked about is learning how to express what we're feeling to the other person、yeah. in a not angry tone.、Mm-hmm. So one of my big problems was that I used to be very angry sounding.、Mm-hmm. Like I would just be like my tone of voice, and、mm-hmm. I never acknowledged it. And、mm-hmm. so my friends told me like sometimes I sound really angry or really、yeah. scary. And I thought about it rather than getting angry at them, which、yeah. would be hilarious. How dare you、oh, see I get angry? <laughs>、um, I was like, do I sound angry?、Mm-hmm. And so then one time I tried recording myself and talking to my iPhone just、mm-hmm. privately to see how I sound when I'm talking. And、mm-hmm. then I looked at it and I was like, wow, I look really angry. Yeah. And I sound really mean.、Mm-hmm. And it's happened a couple times with our K-pop music Mondays. Yeah. Where I wasn't actually mad about anything,、uh-huh. but the way that I sounded. When I looked at it、mm. later on, I was like, "Whoa, I looked really angry about、mm. this subject." When、yeah. I wasn't angry because、uh. it's a K-pop music video,、yeah. like it's inconsequential to me, right? I also think I I know that like both of us acknowledge that communication, the、mm. way that we communicate, is like fluctuates. It's、mm. it's fluid. We could change our tone. We could change our voice. We could change our words or、mm-hmm. our vocabulary. It's like we we try our best to convey our ideas, and if sometimes the language that we use gets in the way of our ideas,、mm. then we're totally comfortable with switching it up. Like、mm. we don't feel like necessarily proud. Like, well, this is just how I talk. 
-hmm. No, because you could talk in many different ways. Like we, there's no 100% natural way to talk. So you just have to keep on being like, oh, if this didn't work, let me try something else. So, kind of like cooking. So for example, one yeah. of the things you pointed out before, and this mm -hmm. is from a book that we read on communication, yeah. saying things like, I, 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 you, 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 yeah. makes people feel very upset. So if mm -hmm. I say, I think that you don't understand me because you're not listening and yeah. you don't get it, people feel like, that makes me really upset. Like, why yeah. is this my fault? So right. I'll try to change the language to say, sometimes I feel uh, a little frustrated yeah. and I can't communicate things properly. Mm. Rather than saying, you can't listen to me. You don't understand what I'm saying. Right. Who wouldn't be upset about that? Mm -hmm. Like somebody's telling you that you're in the wrong. Uh, um, so sometimes you just got to kind of like uh, move around the way that you're saying things. Um, Hannah Peacock said, what's the book title? I can't remember the one on, that was about communication, but uh, a really good one is on the love languages. Five love languages. Five love languages. Mm -hmm. It's not about like love. It's about how people need to be communicated. Yeah. Like some how do people, people need, convey affection? Some people need touch. Mm -hmm. Some people need praise. Some people need armpit furbits. I mean, I'm just pro. You're just a pro of this. Let's be honest. Mm -hmm. um, yes. So mm -hmm. for some people, it's, it's important to figure that out. That's mm -hmm. a big thing mm -hmm. on communication, I think. Mm -hmm. uh, Gen Z wants to know, do you guys have these live chats planned or whenever the mail gets overflowed and randomly when it works? We usually Fridays. We we usually try to do these on Fridays. Yeah. Um, and we don't have these scheduled regularly because a lot of times we travel. Mm -hmm. uh, so I don't think next week. We'll, well, hopefully next week we'll be able to do it. Next week. What do we do next be, week? I'm not sure. We might be able to do this again yeah. next week, but like it's, kind, it's kind of random. But it's usually. Yeah. I mean, I would say it's always on a Friday. Yeah. Um, but it's usually mm -hmm. kind of random. I'm sorry. Um, so uh, last week we were in Fukuoka, so we couldn't do it, but now we're here, so we're able to do it. Yeah. There you go. I think we're kind of running out of steam here. We've been doing this for an hour oh and a half gosh, now. Oh gosh, yeah, we gotta get going. I think it's time for us to say goodbye and to burn, because I think like Dan is only supposed to be here till seven, and he's like half an hour late. So. Oh, um, I'm gonna say. Oh, also, um, Issa Chan loves you. Said I came super late, but it's two thirty a.m. and I just wanted to thank you guys for all the lives. Mm -hmm. Have a good night. Make sure you're sleeping. So thank you everyone for hanging out with us today. Mm. This is really fun to be able to talk to you and like. Also, the questions that you ask make us think things and mm. make us like try to like understand ourselves as well. And I hope that we convey our answers in ways that aren't too boring. So thank you for hanging out with us yeah, today. Yeah, thanks guys. And thank you for sending us all these lovely packages. Thank you for these great packages. Thank you for the alcohol. Wonderful. That makes us exactly. a party. You're like, it's Friday. You guys are probably gonna see some of my mm. scarves and stuff um, appearing mm. in videos and cameras coming up. Angela Pham says, everyone should start super chatting so they can't leave. Evil, Evil laughter. laughter. Oh, 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 Angela oh, fan. Oh, 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 we're not uh, really good at evil laughter. We're not, we're not good at evil laughter. Nice. My allergies actually don't feel it bad anymore. And by allergies, I mean cold. It's allergies. Yeah, definitely. Good night, everyone. I'm going to say good night to yeah. da oh, wait, wait. Rosie, oh, Rosianna. Uh -huh. So good night from New Zealand. Good night I, to Alan Ford. To, to Daphne. Am I seriously just too late? You are. I'm so sorry. We're, we're closing this up good now. Good night to Yvette, who says lots of love from Las Vegas. I'm saying goodbye to Hannah McElhose. Mm -hmm. uh, to Hannah Hong as well. Um, to Aileen Shu, uh, who super chatted uh, again. From Thank Australia. you so much. Uh, Aileen, yes. And good night to Jessica Johnson. Uh -huh. And uh, good day to those of you that are still awake. Uh, I am going to have. We can't. Just you go over there. Time. I'm gonna dance for people. Okay, start to dance, girl. Really, 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 Oh, pop your hip back in, girl. There's the tower over there. Can you see it, guys? Hold on, let me just turn this around. Ha ha! There's the, There's the ta tower. It's actually quite cold here. Can I go back inside? I have a cold, you know. Go this way so people can see. Oh. Yeah. Hello, everyone. Come visit us in Tokyo, guys. Goodbye, everyone. Bye, guys. Uh, Marion says, wait, get Dan too. Dan's gone. And <laughs> so, it's Friday night for Dan. It's Friday night. Good night, everyone. Bye. Thanks for hanging out. Bye bye. Yeah.